Hey there fellow webmaster, this is Christian from Racknerd. I've shared with you a script that automates the process of installing WordPress with LAMP with a free script my team has built for you. And today we're gonna learn how to automate WordPress installation with the LAMP stack on Alma Linux OS with another free script. But take note, it doesn't just install WordPress and set up databases for you, it also automates the configuration of the Nginx web server's site template and will set up your domain automatically without manually creating the site configuration for each domain. So if you're as excited as I am, let's go ahead and dive into this and we'll take your WordPress setup with LEMP to the next level. Before we dive into this tutorial, let's talk about the benefits of our automatic WordPress install for LEMP and why it is very important and helpful to your workflow as a webmaster. By utilizing this powerful bash script, you'll be able to save a significant amount of time and effort when setting up your WordPress websites. Imagine the convenience of having a single command that handles the entire installation process, including the creation of a secure LEMP stack environment, database setup, and automatic linking of your domain name to the server's IP address. Gone are the days of tediously configuring each domain manually, as this script takes care of all of it seamlessly. Not only does it streamline the setup process, but it also ensures consistency across all your WordPress installation. The script follows best practices and implements optimal configuration, guaranteeing a robust and efficient setup every single time. Whether you're a seasoned developer managing multiple websites or a beginner taking your very first steps into web development, this Bash script will simplify your workflow and empower you to focus on what truly matters, building an amazing website. So if you're ready to embark on this knowledge packed journey and experience the benefits of automating your WordPress installations on a LEMP stack with Alma Linux OS, then make sure to have your domain name handy along with your VPS, as we will assume that in this video you already have a running Alma Linux OS with LEMPstack installed. Or if you don't, you can check out the link in the description down below to learn how to order the necessary services along with the tutorials for setting up a new LEMP web stack properly on Alma Linux OS. Additionally, I will provide all the necessary tools and resources you need along the way. So let me share my screen and let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so as a reminder, you have the Ulmo Linux OS server up and running with LEMP stack properly set up in your system, along with a domain name registered to be used for your WordPress website. If you haven't already, I highly suggest that you check out our previous videos about it as the Bash script requires these services before you can proceed. So the first thing that I will do is link my server's IP to my domain DNS. To do this, go to your domain's registrar and navigate to the DNS management section. Add an A record to your root domain, such as domain.com, and then a C name or an A record same to its subdomain, which is www. Now let's connect to our server via SSH. Using our preferred SSH client, I'm going to go with the usual and my favorite, which is Bitvice SSH, which I will link in the description down below. So just check it out if you wanna use it as well. I like it because it's very simple and really easy to use even for beginners. When logged in, make sure that you have the Nano Editor installed, just in case you're not following along with our LEMP stack series on this channel, which is unfortunate because this script might not work for you. So make sure to watch the series and base your LEMP stack setup up based on our guide. And also before I forget, install Nano Editor by running this command. Next, we want to download our auto WordPress bash script on our local machine. The link is in the description down below and then extract it by using any zip, rar, or 7-zip program for your desktop. Open up the text document in any text editor like Notepad++ and just simply copy its context Go back to your SSH console and then run the following command. And then go ahead and right click if you're using Bitbytes SSH console or just find a way to paste the auto WordPress script context that we just copied earlier in the blank Linux text document we are creating and then save it by hitting Control plus X plus Y and enter. After doing so, let's go ahead and make sure that our script executable is in the Linux system. We can do this by running the following command here. Now the script should be ready for us to use 
as our automated installation wizard. But before we do so, let's run let's run the script by using this following command. So in this section, if you want to follow along, please pay attention to your screen while I go through the whole process of filling out my own details based on the on-screen instructions by the auto WordPress script. The auto script will attempt to update our system and install the recommended and necessary Linux tools that we will need within the installation process. It will also ask for your database root and new user credentials. So make sure that you have those handy as it is necessary for the system to know because it will create your WordPress database for you. If you're not familiar with your database root credentials, please head over to our video about how to install MariaDB with LEMP on Alma Linux OS. Everything you need was discussed in that video. Furthermore, the auto WordPress script will download and install WordPress for you, and it will ask several questions like the domain name that you want to use for your WordPress to be linked to, which we have set up the DNS earlier in this video. So make sure that you already did that and then provide the necessary details along with the directory path for your WordPress install. Moreover, it will also ask you to enter your Nginx site configuration details. So just fill it up. It should be self-explanatory. And if you're not familiar with the Nginx site configuration, it's like a virtual host site template in the LAMP stack environment. In simpler thought, it will manage the linking of your website to a specific domain name of your choice. And along with it, it will set up all the necessary Nginx configuration files, including the files such as nginx.config, default.config, and other custom configuration files we've created as optimization for your Nginx web server. The script will also handle SE Linux permissions, so you don't have to worry about it. So once the script is successfully run, you can complete your WordPress administration setup by navigating to, to your domain as per what you filled out when going through the auto WordPress script wizard. Please pay attention to your screen if you want to follow along as I go through the native WordPress installation wizard for my demo site. Once WordPress has been completely installed, let's go ahead and check our website to see if it is working fine. And there you have it. We've successfully installed WordPress with the LEMP stack on Alma Linux OS with the help of our automated free bash script, which is far easier than it's supposed to be, right? So congratulations, it is now time to configure your WordPress site. Open your web browser and access your domain name. Follow the simple setup wizard to customize your site and choose a theme and create your admin account. Once you're done, you can start creating amazing content and taking your online presence to new heights. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful information and web hosting tutorial content like this. And remember, if you're looking for a reliable hosting provider to kickstart your WordPress hosting journey, head over to Rackner.com, where you'll find a range of affordable hosting solutions tailored to your needs. And that's all we have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you have any questions or suggestions, or if maybe you want an updated free bash script, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Happy hosting.